All right, so next, um, I'm going to add in the hole for the brain. What we want to be careful with right now is that we don't draw it out too far because then it'll make the edge of the skull too thin for us to do much with. So we are a bit limited on how far out we can take it. Um, first, I'm going to open up a brain reference image that I grabbed off of Google Images. And um, then we're going to go into top view mode. And this brain, this head is a bit of a strange shape, but we will um, we'll let it go. I'm um, going to use layer. I'm going to use subtract. First, I'm going to show you what layer does. If I grab something, if I paint over it, it paints it up into a layer. As you can see, there's a rough edge right here. Um, that will make a very <laughs> cool looking interesting character but that's not what we want to do right now what we want to use it for is to eat out a hole in the skull and um, create a brain so from now on for most of the rest of the tutorial I'm going to be turning off the X mirror um, the only time I'm going to use it again is for probably doing the ear or some other adjustments oh um, and just real quick here, I'm going to finish up the nose a little bit more. I'm going to add in some indentation. And then we're going to bring the nose down. We're going to smooth it out some. And of course, we can add a crease right about here, which adds a bit of detail right there. So, and we probably do want to bring the nose down some so we can just grab it right there and bring it down, bring the nostrils out and down some. Okay, so the nose is set up and now we'll go straight to adding in the um, detail on the head. So we're going to go over to layer, when you subtract, sorry I got off on a tangent there, and we're going to go over to stroke and then anchored okay what anchored does is you can grab a spot and then drag and it will affect it okay now there's two things to note oh, sorry we need to turn off the symmetry along the x axis two things to note one is that um, when you drag it like I said before the further you get out um, towards the edge, the thinner the skull gets. And this is really too thin to work with. That will give us a lot of pain later. This is perfectly fine. This is great right here. And um, we're leaving the curve of the brush the same for now. You can change it around if you'd like, but I recommend just keeping it to the um, curve it's set at by default. So we're going to undo this. And the other thing you want to keep note of is when you draw it out, it's smooth along the edges. Let me undo that, but if you draw it out and then bring it back in, it adds this sort of tidal wave that gives it very rough edges. Now we can smooth this out, but we want to be careful not to get this effect in the first place, since we're going to be doing a lot of detail inside here, and we don't want to add that extra step of um, to uh, hinder us. So. We're going to go and, let me just see, this guy has a really big head. All right, I'm going to grab here and right about here, and I'm going to pull it out, and that creates our skull part. Now that's pretty good, but right along the edge, it's still too thin. So I'm going to keep adjusting it out until I get about the right placement. Now, so we can see what's going on, I'm going to just go down here and grab this. Um, actually, I don't want to do that. I want to bring that over there. I want to draw this up. And then I'm going to hit side view like that. And then I'm going to go over here and do um, front view. So we can get a bit of an idea of what we're dealing with here. Of course, the intensity of the brush um, changes how deep your hole is going to be, but I want to keep it about 50. And I'm going to um, 
drag this out and then you can see over here what we're getting. Alright, so this will take a little bit of trial and error until we get it just the right place. But what we want to be careful with is um, to get it just right, otherwise it'll affect the rest of the work we have to do on the mesh. So we want to be very careful to get it in the right place. And um, we want to be careful to get it in just the right place. So I'm going to do this one more time or a couple more times and see if I can get it in just the right placement. Now once again it's a little bit too thin on that side. And I apologize for redoing this so many times, but it is very important to get it just the right place. Alright, so let me see. Is that pretty good? It's not quite there. We want it a little bit bigger. Let me see right down the center and sizing it up. A little bit further down. And that will be good enough. Okay? So the sides around here are too small still, but um, we can work with that just for the sake of the rest of the head. Actually, I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to bring it a little bit further back on the head. There, that's good. Okay, so we're going to save. And that is um, time consuming to get it just right, but um, it's worth it since um, you're going to be doing a lot more work on um, the head. So you might as well get it right in the first place. Ah, just a second. I am seeing if I can figure out. <laughs> there we go. All right, get rid of it. All right, so we're going to save. Save as. And then we're going to start adding in the details on the brain itself. Okay?